here it is, your last homework. Assignment 10, Dr. Eagle here. Eugene 3613 Engineering Economics. Last video solution of the semester. All right, first one, linear corporation purchases. Okay, purchases a piece of equipment. <clears throat> We've got a sales tax, transportation charge, labor cost, and a cost of site installation. And they want to know what the cost basis for the depreciation will be. And basically depreciation is, it's either legal for depreciation or it's not. Well, you know what? Everything in this list right here um, was legal for depreciation. So the cost of the machine, which is the sales cost versus, plus the sales tax, gives you that total right there. Add them all together, and there's your cost. There's, there's your amount that's available for depreciation, the, cost, the sum of all those. We can move right on to question two, which just takes question one and says, we get $5,000 for the piece of equipment machine, the machine, but we have a book value on it of uh, $4,000. So what does that mean? It means you got an unrecognized gain of $1,000 from off that trade-in trade allowance. So um, subtract the uh, trade-in allowance minus the book value, and you've got an unrecognized gain of $1,000. Subtract that $1,000 from the previous number from the previous assignment. And that is your cost basis for the depreciation. There you go. Now, how do you know all this? Well, these are just rules that you follow for taxes. Question three, we're going to depreciate. First one's just a straight line depreciation. Got a $10,000 piece of equipment. Five years later, it's $2,000 piece of equipment. Ten. 1,000 minus 2,000 divided by 5 is how much you can depreciate it with a straight line depreciation per year. So you just subtract 1,600 off of it every year. And then in year 5, you should be at the $2,000 mark. It actually is that easy. This is probably the easiest homework you've got. Straight line depreciation. You subtract you know, the, the initial minus the salvage, divide by the number of years. That gives you your depreciation. And if you subtract it, you, you should be end up at the salvage cost. The next one, however, says you're going to take that piece of equipment, probably the same piece of equipment, with the salvage value, though, of 778 here, so it'll work out numerically, and you go ahead and you set it up for a uh, DD rate. So the double down rate is the initial cost of the piece of equipment times the DD rate, which is an alpha value in a DD, a double, a double annual depreciation, double declining depreciation, that value is always two. So one over N, which is one over five, it's the N. Uh, then you've got the times two, because that's what the double declining means. You're gonna, you're gonna knock off 40% per year. How do you do this? You start with $10,000, you knock off the 40%, which leaves you $6,000. And you knock off 40%, which is now a different number. And you notice that at year five, you actually end up, numbers work out nicely for this one, at 776.60, or you essentially end up at 778. Uh, you could state that, you know, at 776.60, you can only go down to 778. And so that final depreciation will be 40 cents different, 40 cents left. It will only be $518, which is, but it's fine if you left this with just the round off. There it is. Um, Good old double declining method, uh, double declining depreciation. By the way, the double declining depreciation is just the commonly used one where the, al the alpha value is two. However, you could have a declining depreciation used with other numbers. Another number that you might use would be 1.5. Okay, if you use one and you subtract salvage, you've got your standard straight line depreciation once again. There you go, that's it. That was assignment 10. Really wasn't that hard, um, except that if you didn't have the book, it's kind of hard to, you know, the rules, I gave you the rules in the lecture, but, um, you know, it's, or you can just look it up. These are, these are pretty straightforward on the internet too. Anyway, that's it. Thank you much. Hope you enjoyed this semester.